On February 8, 1968, as the night fell and darkness covered this city, after protesting one of the last vestiges of discrimination, shining a light on one of Jim Crow's final hiding places, a group of students built bonfires and sang protest songs. And within moments along the embankments on the front of the campus, police positioned themselves along Highway 601. The state police then closed in on students with shotguns loaded with deadly double lock buckshots. And for eight seconds, 1,001, 1,002, students engulfed by fear. <laughs> were pierced by bullets in their backs, their buttocks, and the bottom of their feet. Lives were forever altered. And dreams forever deferred. While one man was blamed and one man left to show to their responsibility. The images of hands cussed, holding buckshots. My father, wounded, paraded on the steps of the city jail. And Henry Smith, Samuel Hammond, and Delano Middleton, lying fatally wounded with state troopers and Pete Strom hovering over, are everlastingly burned into our memory. On this night, injustice left mothers without their sons. Injustice left my sister born without her father. And injustice left an ever-present mark on the state. And as the smoke cleared on that night, physical injuries may have healed, but there remains no answers and only a veil of secrecy. The veil, though, does not cover the fact that on the night of February 8, 1968, three individuals gave their lives, inspired by love, as my father says, these three heroes navigated the majestic journey that we now call the Freedom Movement and efforts to gain equality and justice. Today marks nearly 40 years since the ground was stained with their blood, since their bodies were laid low by the hot lead of bigotry and fear. Tonight we stand knowing only the struggle continues. <laughs> 